Hello, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on modifying variables uh, with Twine using the chapbook story format. Uh, let's get right into it. So um, variables are super, super useful, um, but uh, you know, <laughs> once you know what a variable is, it might not all be all that clear about how you would use them. So this is a, this is an example of how you might use variables. This is kind of the simplest version. I'm going to make a story where uh, there's some dialogue that happens. And the dialogue is going to change based on the decisions that the reader makes in the story. And the, the thing that's going to happen in the story is a uh, the reader is going to visit a shop. Um, and they will have a, a rude dialogue option they can choose, and then a kind or like a nice dialogue option. And when they return to the shop, the shopkeeper is going to say something different to them based on whether they chose rude or chose kind. That That's the easiest way I could imagine setting this up. So uh, first, I'm going to create an intro passage. And this intro passage is going to uh, set up the variable I'm going to use for this. We'll say greeting. Greeting will be the name of the variable. And then it's going to store some text. And this will be the text that the shopkeeper says to the reader. Um, that's what this variable is representing. Then I'm going to uh, put the passage text. So I'll see, uh, you see a friendly, great. Um, so this is my, my passage. Uh, it says, you see a friendly little shop in a woodsy clearing ahead. And then I have a link to a new passage called shop. So let's add the new passage called shop. Um, and then in the shop, uh, I'll kind of describe what the shop looks like, and I'll use that variable um, and have the shopkeeper deliver the greeting. Okay, so uh, that, that's my description. You see a friendly shopkeeper. A small bell rings above, ooh, not, not about, above your head as the door swings open and you walk toward the counter. The shopkeeper waves and says, what should they say? Well, what I want them to say is text from intro. That's, that's what I want uh, for that. So I'm going to have the computer insert this value into my passage, my shop passage. To do that, I use curly brackets and I put the name of the variable, which is greeting. Okay, cool. Uh, now I have to have two options, a root option and a nice option. So I'll go and make links for those. Okay, yeah, here are my options. Hello, I'd like to purchase something. That's the nice option. Walk away rudely, and that's the rude option. So the nice link leads to the nice passage, and the rude link leads to the rude passage. Great. Uh, and now if I close my passage, you can see I have these two options here. It's looking pretty good. Um, let's open these up, and we'll make our, our passages. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, reassign the variable uh, called greeting. I will have the computer modify this value. When a computer modifies a variable, it's going to erase the old version and insert the new value I define here. And then whenever the, uh, the, the computer encounters that variable again, it will use the new value instead of the old value. Uh, and that's what I want to happen. When I have the uh, reader return to that shop passage, I want the shopkeeper's greeting to be different. I want it to be different based on the choice that they made. So um, I'm going to go ahead and make my my new greeting for the for the nice version. So uh, in the nice version, the shopkeeper should, you know, be like, oh, I recognize you. You're just a nice person. It's good to see you again. Something like that. So I'll, I'll write that out real quick. So that's what I decided to put for my, my greeting. Uh, it's nice to see you again. Need anything? So when the reader returns to the shop, that's that will be the new greeting that the shopkeeper uses. Remember, because we're using greeting here. Okay. Uh, now I just have to add some text to this nice passage to narrate what happens next. So I'll do that real quick. Great. And there's my my nice passage. You step outside and leave the shop for a while. Sometime later, you find yourself outside the shop again, and we enter the shop. And that will send the reader back to the shop passage to use the new greeting. Uh, let's do the same thing for rude. I'll have a new greeting for the shopkeeper to use. So there's my my uh, my new greeting. The shopkeeper is sort of a forgiving person. He's not gonna get too mad about it, but he's gonna 
uh, say you're strange, I suppose, for, for just walking in and then walking out immediately very rudely. Um, and now let me put some of the story text so that the reader knows what's going on. All right, and there's my rude path where you walk out rudely and then think better of your choice and enter the shop again. Uh, and this time, the shopkeeper says this. Okay, here's my story. I've got an intro. The greeting starts with this one. Hello, welcome to my shop. And the uh, greeting gets used here when the shopkeeper introduces himself. Uh, and then we have a nice path where the shopkeeper uses this greeting when you return. And we have a rude path where the shopkeeper uses this greeting when the reader returns. Uh, let's do it. So we've got our intro and the background invisibly, the variable called greeting has been set to that initial value. Initial value, hello, welcome to my shop. So that's happening in the background. The, the reader isn't seeing that, right? The, that's invisible to them. And we, they only get to see that value until we reveal it to them. All right, there's our first, and there's that variable value that being used for the first time. Hello, welcome to my shop. Let's do the nice path first. Or actually, let's do the rude path first. It makes a little more sense. <laughs> Walk away rudely. You step outside and think better of it. You turn around and head back into the shop. Now, invisibly in the background, the story has modified the greeting variable. It's thrown out the old value and it's replaced it with this greeting. So that when I return to the shop, we get the new greeting. Same thing happens with the nice version. We get our we get our, our text in, in the background. The story has invisibly modified the greeting variable to be this new value. And then when I return to the shop, uh, the computer uses the new value again. So that is just about everything that you need to know about modifying variables. Uh, just like I said in, in previous tutorial about vi variables, this is a just the very beginning. We're just barely scratching the surface about what's possible with variables. So if you have any questions about this, if you run into any problems, please get in the comments of the video. We'd love to help you out. Uh, there is a text version of this tutorial with examples and screenshots and all sorts of stuff that you can check out in the link in the description uh, at the Twine Trail Guide. There's also lots of other tutorials on the Twine Trail Guide, uh, lots of other things you can try out in your story. So check those out as well. Um, good luck and happy coding.